I have been following this Liber chat for quite some time and people say that it is quite easy to install and use. I agree partially. I think if you are using it with OpenAI then yes it is quite easy to install and use but if you are trying to use it with open source models such as Olama which it says it in its documentation then to say the least it is terrible. It is very hard to configure. It is even if you manage to configure it somehow it's very hard to run. So the good thing about Liber Chat is that it offers you a similar interface just like ChatGPT. But of course if you are using it with OpenAI's API key then the point is only that you can install it locally on your network and then use it. But still you would need to configure a reverse proxy which you can easily do with it. But all in all I think maybe three to four months back this was true but now when we have so much uh, so many options out there i think the edge that liber chat had that it had it was offering the same interface as chat gpt is a moot point now but anyway in this video i'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally i would suggest you install this uh, this liber chat on linux because if you try to install it on windows uh, they recommend you use docker and using uh, docker on windows is a, another pain because um, well i'm not going to go into that you can do that but i would suggest you do it in linux especially if you are trying to install it company wide anyway so let's um, go to my local system but before that let me actually uh, tell you a few of the good features about it because not everything is bad about liber uh, chat liber chat as i said the main attraction is was that it had um, chat gpt like interface and they say that you can integrate it with open ai's api key cohere gemini um, together mistral api a lot of other api providers first thing second it is multilingual you can go with english french italian brazilian portuguese and there are few other languages which it supports you can also customize the presets you can save them you can import the conversations but, but as I said, all of these options, they were great. They still are great. But a few months back when no one else or very few companies were offering it, it was okay. But now there are many tools which are doing that. And you can even search my channel. I have covered a lot of them. So I believe Liber Chat needs to pick up their game. And, uh, you know, if they are saying they integrated with Olama, which is awesome, then they should really make it easy if you go to their documentation it's terribly written anyway so let me go to my local system and then we will get it installed so i am using ubuntu 22.04 i have one gpu card of 22 gb of vram and my memory is 32 gb i will be using conda in order to get it installed so let me first clear the screen and this is the conda version which i am using if you don't know how to install conda and all that stuff i would highly suggest that you just search on my channel and install it keeps everything separate and simple okay let's clear the screen yeah where is a clear okay, this is clear and now let me create a virtual environment with conda i'm just calling it liber chat it says that it already exists so i'm just going to say no and i am going to first remove that environment so conda remove dash and liber chat and i will install it from scratch that is done let's clear the screen i'm also going to remove the that's all clear let me try again that is good and let's wait for it to get installed that is done let's activate the liber chat and you will see that now it appears in parenthesis at the start of the prompt next thing we need to git clone the repo let me first clear the screen let's click git uh, clone the repo that is done cool and let's cd to liber chat let's clear the screen now here uh, you would need to use the dot env file you would need to move it so maybe i'll just say cp dot env dot example to dot env so now we have this dot env file if i quickly show you this dot env file 
it just mentioned that port 3080 localhost mongo which uses mongodb at the back end in the container and there is a lot of other stuff which you can use this is the reverse proxy because if you are using any such software in your enterprise in your private network then in order to talk to these api outside on the internet you would need a reverse proxy and that is where this proxy is quite handy and this is what i like about liver chat that um, it offers this reverse proxy out of the box cool okay so and then there are a lot of other if you want to use anthropic uh, like cloud model you can use that and bing <clears throat> microsoft google like gemini and stuff because this library chat also offer uh, multimodal functionalities with gemini gpt4 so if you want to use that okay let me get out of this now in order to start it all you need to do is to run docker compose up dash t and it is going to download all of it and start it because you saw that i already had downloaded it so it took a bit of a time but it has started all the containers which include vector db for rag mongodb and library chat and all of them are up cool so now let me open it on port 3080 in my local browser and i will show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like first time in your browser locally you would need to sign up first time let me fill in my name and my email password you can create your own and then i'll click on continue I have filled up my stuff, so I'm just going to click continue and then I'm going to fill in my email. So I'm just going to continue logging in and there you go. So you see, you just get open AI's chat GPT like interface. You can click here. You can just also attach your file and talk with it and you can select the models from open AI like GPT-4 Turbo and all that stuff. You can also set your key. So for example, if you click on your name here, you can go to settings and then you can uh, set up your theme by uh, go with uh, this dark one, which is always good. And then you can change your picture and do a lot of other stuff here. Also, you can select GPT-4 Turbo. And if you click on OpenAI, you can go with OpenAI Assistant and then it is asking you to set your API key. So click here. And then you can just uh, enter your value here and click on submit. So let me do that. I have submitted my OpenAI API key. If you don't have it, just go to platform.openai.com and you would, it's a paid option. So you would have to pay them at least $10 to get your key. So I already have done it as you can see. And then you can chat with GPT-4. You can talk with as much as you like. And it's a simple interface. So I'm just going to ask it explain the meaning of happiness and gpt4 is just giving me all that stuff so now um, just imagine that you want to use gpt4 within your private network without any access to internet then library chat library chat makes sense because you just need to set your reverse proxy where i showed you in that dot env file you need to specify your api key and your employees will be able to use it and you see that you, they would have to create a login password and then they can go from there and if you want you can just attach your own files here and then chat with your files and then there are a lot of other options which you can use so look all in all a good tool but as i said earlier um, the real benefit comes when we would be able to easily integrate olama with it for now i have already spent like three four hours on it configuring Olama didn't work so um, they their documentation is very poorly written so I'll keep trying if I manage to get it installed easily and then if it would be worth showing I will make another video but I think for now you get the idea that when to use library chat and when to not to use it let me know your thoughts in it and if you have already configured Olama with library chat please share your experience in the comments Maybe I am too dumb to um, configure it easily. So it would be good a learning exercise. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.